Oh, you smart aleck. <laughs> you forgot. I did, sorry. <laughs> I was being a smarty last time, so now Hannah learned from me. <laughs> Welcome back to Ashes of Feathers. I'm Hannah. And I'm Drew. We are a father-daughter team, and we are excited to bring magic to you. Guess what? We got our next wizarding truck! Yay! Actually, that was upside down. Ah, there we go! Yay! Yay! You brought that up. <laughs> that was a bit extreme. It was. No, it didn't. All right. If you guys want to see what's in this box, stay with us. Welcome back guys, hope you enjoyed the break from our last video, which if you missed it, was a fan mail from one of our patrons and we opened up quite a few gifts from Kat. Yes. So be sure and check that out. You can have, actually it's like right up here. I'll leave the link right there. Mm. All right, but this time we are opening up the Wizarding Trunk box for the month of, well, it's actually every other month, but it came during the month of August, so. Yes. Let's go ahead and open it up. We will do like halfers on everything. So I'll open one, and I'll open one. Yes. So here is the cheeky peek. I want the big one. Woo! I see a big box. <laughs> and a little box. It's a big box. Well, since you want the big box, might as well do it. Oh, that's a big box. It took up half the took box. It took half the box, I know. Here, well, okay. let's show them the box real quick. This <gasps> box is, says <gasps> Hand of Glory. You know what this is. All right, let's see. <gasps> it is the hand of glory. Take it out real quick. Ooh, look at that. Oh my gosh. That is like a small hand. Well, it's not meant to be to scale. It'd be too much for shipping. <laughs> and it says hand of glory right here on the very, very bottom. And the hand is almost mummified. You can feel it it's, and look at it. It's all mummified. But it has long pointy nails and the nails are all like fungusy looking. It's gross. But it's actually a really nice scale. It's about probably eight inches tall. Something like that. Let's look at my hand compared to it. Yeah, there's some there's some scale right there. So it's about, about the size of a 10 year old hand. I will pull the next item and it's a heavy Middle box, unmarked. Uh, Hopefully I don't break it. I hear something swishing. Swishing? Swishing. Swishing. Like liquid swishing. Swi it's in bubble wrap. That's a good sign. Bubble wrap. I see a potion bottle. We love bubble wrap. That means it's fragile. All right, here we go. Ooh, look at that. Just from the back side. Look at that green color. Is that green to you? No. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, Hannah is a colorblind a little bit when it comes to light colored green. She cannot distinguish them. Uh, they look blue to her. So whenever I asked her, she said, nope, that's blue. It's, it's a blue, but it's, it's, blue. A, it's, a, key, it's a cool blue. It's like a, it's like a ocean green, ocean blue. That's but it's the draft of despair. Ooh. Ooh. And it says pure blood apothecary. I really like this bottle. It's got a little handle on it right there. It's got a wax seal on the top with a cork, and it has a pour spout right there. Isn't that cool? Look at that. That is really pretty. Oh, and it's all glittery too in the sunlight. Let's see. Whoa! Oh my god! So when you shake it up, it's all swirly. Isn't that cool? I like it. I do like the bottle. It's a very nice bottle. Yeah. These are some good items so These far. These are so far good. So far good. All right, here, here's a bottle. A bottle? Feels like a drop. It, it looks like it too. I saw a bit of it. Let's say. Gar reducer. I think Bill Weasley used this. You think? For his werewolf scar. This scar reducer is designed to reduce the visibility of scars. Particularly. No. Particularly. In those individuals that have been attacked and left scared by werewolves, 
Apply it once or twice a day after the wound has healed to help reduce the appearance of scars. It will also fade previous scars. Mmm. So yeah, Bill Weasley could have used that. Well, let's see what it tastes or it tastes like. <laughs> I heard you say orange, and I'm like, let's give it a taste. <laughs> no, it's got it, oil in it. Mom uh, likes essential oils. Has a very citrusy smell because of that orange, orange oil that's in it. I like it. I do have a couple scars. At least she can smell this time. Yes, I don't have a stuffy nose anymore. <laughs> I do have a couple scars. All right, let's see. I have a scar on my face. So the dropper. Are you gonna put it on my face? It looks very nice. Rub it in. Wow, that scar magically disappeared. <laughs> so scar reducer. Very nice. Is it, is it disappearing? Your face is almost gone. What? <laughs> My entire face is in a scar. Oh, this looks like a necklace. Do they wear it? Ooh. What? Look at there. <gasps> Look at there. Look at I've been wanting that. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. <laughs> I've actually been wanting this in my collection. What is it? It's Bellatrix Lestrange's like, bird head skull necklace thingy, majiggy. But it's so it's so pretty, and I've wanted it. There you go. Oh, I love it. You need a Slytherin robe though to go with that. Hold on. Here Looks me. strange with Hufflepuff. Let me tell you. Hey, I'm a Slytherin. Hufflepuff combined with her BTS shirt <laughs> and a, a Bellatrix. <laughs> All right, here, you can open up the pin. These witches, it has, oh, it has Bell Bellatrix, Umbridge, and Rita Skeeta. Rita Skeeta. I like to say it like that for some reason. Rita Skeeter. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> It sounds like a little mouse. A little, uh. It's trying to go fast. That was a little hick, sorry. <laughs> Reader Skeeter! So it's, it says down at the bottom, you know, I really hate children who said that. Comment down below. <gasps> oh, dang it, I know. Uh, well, you don't have to tell people. Comment down below. <laughs> Here, let me show you. So there you go. There is the pin. This is a Wizarding Trunk exclusive enamel pin. Hard enamel pin. Bellatrix is wearing her necklace. Yep. Bellatrix is very scary looking too. Yes. She is always scary looking. Okay. Next. I see a black bag. Mysterious. <gasps> no way. Stop freaking out. What is it? No way. What is it? What you think it is? <laughs> <laughs> no way! It is the replica of Bellatrix's dagger that she threw at Dobby. This is so cool. It even has all of the um, like Damascus folds that uh, the real dagger has because it's the Damascus blade. And then it's got the skull and the handle. A little easy way to hang on to it. So that is so cool. Bellatrix's dagger. Wanting this too! <laughs> I got two things that I've worn in my collection. I know, this is so far so good. I'm Bella, I could be Bellatrix for Halloween. Maybe. No, literally. Just don't go poke people with that, okay? I won't, but that is kind of. Stick them with the pointy end. Name that movie reference. Actually, it's a TV show reference. It's okay. There is something inside this shirt. Okay. Let's open it. this both at the same time. Because there is something inside this shirt. Something inside the shirt. Okay, you. I the mean, shirt is going to be cool. I know. I already looked, I'm looking at it a bit. I should, probably shouldn't be. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is the plate. It's wearing a little tiara. Oh, that's so funny. The other one, it was plastic, and we turned it into an ornament. Yeah, this that's one. Glass. This that's one is porcelain. One. Look at that. That is one of the cat plates out of Umbridge's office. I love that. That it's is so, so funny. Cute. I love cats. Got a little tiara on, on the cat. That must be the princess cat. That is a princess cat for sure. So the shirt oh. is all black in the front. Nothing giving it away, okay? And then you... Nothing on the sleeves? Yes. And then you... Well, bam, turn around. That is all... Actually, no, wait. That is the front of the shirt. Wait, really? Yeah, I thought it was the back, because it was oh. so big. 
That is the front. So it says the vile incantum. The vile incantum. Poisons and cursed curiosities. Hard to read upside down. So yeah, nightshade alley. That would be the business. So um, uh, this is a cool, cool shirt. I don't have anything that's kind of slithering looking. <laughs> All right. Um, there's one more thing in here, and you get the pleasure. Yay! I know what this is, but I don't know what it looks like. I just know what it is. I know what it is, too. <gasps> I see foiling. From what I've gathered, they are continuing the book, the book covers. covers. So I'm not sure if this fits. Closer. Maybe the cursed child. Actually, let's give them the first look. All right. Titty! <laughs> All right, let's see. Magical genealogy. Ah, there it is. Oh, it's it, on the back. It says it makes genealogy. It you can read it on the back. Genealogy. Okay. Genealogy? Methods for investigating your blood history by establishing an and understanding of magical genealogy and the steps and skills needed to reveal if you are a descendant of a dark bloodline. If you know what this fits, because Hannah and I right now are, we don't know. But if you know what it fits, be sure and comment down below, let us know. We're gonna try and see what it fits. Yeah, see that's too small. So yeah, this obviously fits something we don't have. So let us know what it is so we can acquire that so we can get this on it. Okay. So that's awesome, another great book cover. I still need to get all of the other ones for the rest of our books, because we only have one. Well, we have two. All right, we There's might be able to find out on the cheat sheet what it fits. Yeah. Oh, wait, there is one more item in here. One more item? It's, a, it's the box that never ends. All right, so this looks like Nightly Nocturne. It is a Magical World's number one nefarious news source. So it's a paper. Is this the cheat sheet? No. This is an oh. actual paper. It's a, it's a werewolf, it's a werewolf, it's a werewolf. Like you would get in the magical world. It's, I wish these things moved. <laughs> it's got I, classified sections. It's got uh, ads for like the hand of glory, ghosts for hire, psychic readings. Um, the, uh, like. Mm. <laughs> Almost like America's Most Wanted for the Magical World. Beware the blue moon is a werewolf. Look at that! That is so cool! It I is like a normal it. newspaper. Cool. And look here, here is a print. <laughs> this is the Diagram of Magical Prison. So this is Azkaban. So it's even got, it's got Roman numerals and then a legend over here that tell you what, what that particular part is. That is the inner yard. Burial tower, ooh, that sounds, oof, it's right down here. So yeah, there is a nice, nice print of Azkaban Prison. Oh, I like it. All right, it's so I think we have hit the end because I believe I have found the cheat sheet, which also, Looks like a newspaper. <laughs> they did so good on this box. So, here's what we got. Magical Genealogy for Dark Witches and Wizards book cover. And this book cover was created by Wizardry Workshop. And the exclusive book cover can be used to cover the unofficial eighth book. The exact version of the book can be found on our website under the book cover tab. So the next one is Scar Reducer, and we kind of read on that one. Yeah. The Three Witches Pen, pretty much explained that one. Yeah. Um, the Porcelain Kitten Plate, that is so cool that it is porcelain, not plastic. I love it. The one we have is plastic. The next item was the Skull Dagger Letter Opener, so you can open letters with it. Uh, let's see, the next one is the Vile Incantum Shop T-Shirt, which I really, really liked. Yeah. Um, the Draft of Despair, that one was a cool bottle. Uh, more malevolent merchandise on the back. The Nightly Nocturne Newspaper, which I thought was so cool that they went to such great lengths to make a newspaper that you can actually read. Um, the Bird Skull Necklace, uh, it's worn by most loyal of dark followers. Yeah. Yeah. 
uh, the magical <laughs> magical prison print, uh, the hand of glory, and there is an ad down here at the bottom that says the keep collecting box, which is from the Potter Collector. They have restocked because the box sold out so fast and it has now been restocked. So yeah, that was a lot of great items in this box, but I'd have to say that probably my favorite item is got to be the dagger with a close second of the shirt. I really like the shirt, mainly because it's the only thing that I'm going to get to keep. But there were tons of items. Like what, what are your two items that you like in here? Um, the necklace and the scar reducer. Yeah, because those are good picks. I actually have a lot of scars. And she's got a werewolf thing. Yes, and I have like five scars in my body, so this will come very useful, so I really <laughs> like it. I did some stupid things before, and I got a lot of scars from it. You heard it here first. She did some stupid things. But I was having fun. <laughs> that's usually but it was stupid. That's usually how you get hurt. You're doing stupid things while having fun. Or, as I say in um, the UK, stupid. I know I Don't love be how they, stupid. I know I love how they say it. <laughs> But yes, this is very helpful for me, so. All right, well, awesome box from the Wizarding Trunk. Thank you so much for putting this together. You guys put in a lot of effort. We thank you so much. So if you guys enjoyed this and want to acquire a Wizarding Trunk box for yourself, be sure and check the link down in the description below and you can get one for yourself. So until next time, from Hannah and myself, we want to wish you all well. Thank you guys for tuning in and we'll see you on the next video. And as always, Stay magical! See you guys!